CSS filters are probably one of the coolest things you can do um, natively within CSS and specifically the the filter property called blur it is a really simple effect but we can really add some specialness to your designs so um, we're gonna go ahead and dive into that okay so I'm starting with just a blank HTML5 template here and I'm gonna create a div and give this a class called background and this will be a parent uh, element um, and I'll show the why later um, and then we'll create another div here and give it a class called blurry and let's go ahead and create those classes so um, actually before we do that let's go ahead and share our server so we can kind of see kind of the changes as we make them so let's create a class called um, background and create a class called blurry there we go perfect and so um, let's go ahead and blurry this is where we're gonna add the image so um, first we want the image to kind of take up the whole viewport so let's go ahead and set the width um, as 100% viewport width and then the height the same 100% viewport height um, and then let's go ahead and specify the image so background image and it's a URL and let's specify um, it's 121407.jpg there it is so there's my image um, but as you can see you know it doesn't totally fit quite right here and it also has these like margins around it so let's go ahead and get rid of that um, by setting the margin of the body to zero and that goes, goes ahead and fixes that and as well and then um, as you can see it's kind of zoomed into the left of the image it's not really um, showing so you can kind of play around with how that image um, fits by going to background um, size and you can do um, there's a couple options here you can do so you can do auto contain cover um, contain um, kind of looks like that it's definitely not what we want we can try to do cover that's a little bit better um, 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 or we could also do fill and you can kind of see how that one that's kind of what it was doing by default um, so we want to cover um, but we kind of want this the image to be in the middle so if we do background position and we just set that to 50% it kind of puts us smack dab right into the image. Okay, now that we got that, the image is there but it, and it's positioned right and even if we resize it, you know, it, it does what we want it to do. But it is not blurry yet. So get that to work we're gonna go ahead and do filter property and there's a bunch of them as you can see grayscale hue opacity saturate sepia a lot of cool effects but I think blur is one of the most um, I guess most useful ones and, and that's the one I'm gonna show so let's do blur blur and I'm gonna do a blur of 30 pixels that seems to be the best um, in my experience um, and as you can see it blurs it perfect but there's this weird thing happening where there's white all the way around the image it's not really what i wanted and to fix that we're actually going to change um the scale of the image so um if we do a transform here and scale we're going to change the scale to 1.2 and as you can see it gets rid of that but it adds these ugly bars but to fix that all you have to do is go to this background um, basically the parent element and just do overflow hidden and boom 
now we got kind of got that pretty blur effect with the way we want it. Um, and from there, um, you can basically just kind of, um, we should probably um, set this position as fixed so it doesn't uh, affect the flow of anything else on, on our website. So we can start now creating another div, um, for example, and just give this class as card, for example. Um, and we'll give it a card and we'll set a width of 400 pixels and a height of let's say 300 pixels right and we'll do background color white and position let's do let's just do fixed as well just to, to kind of show this um Actually, I'm going to create a container for this so we can kind of, uh, there we go. So we can actually, um, container, so we can center this, this, this card basically. So we're going to set the width, um, be basically the same as the whole viewport. Height can be the same, and we're gonna do display, and we're gonna do this as flex. Um, that way, we can easily position this um, as, and we're gonna just do margin auto. There we go. Change that position to relative. So now kind of got this card right here to show an example of just content. Um, so let's go ahead and just give this a border radius of like, you know, 20 pixels or something like that. Um, and then a box sh um, shadow as like zero pixels, zero pixels, um, 10, let's do 10 pixels. Let's see what the, so as you can see, um, we kind of got a card here with some, you know, we could add some content and stuff like that. But yeah, just wanted to show you that and um, hope you like it. And next time uh, we'll talk about backdrop filter and how useful that can be.